For reference, um, these solenoids, um, they're marked minus plus, minus plus. On both of them, plus is the yellow one. Well, orange one. Uh, what I'm gonna do is mark this wire, these wires with some tape or something to say number one, number two. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll print some labels. You just stick a label on this and this and that. To get in spirit, some Japanese drum and bass. These people are called Human Elements. They're really cool. They play some sick ass tunes. Later on, you'll hear this guy called DJ Q Lee. He's sick also. Alright, back to label. Okay, surface, surface a bit. This one is labeled ignition coil right. Put the sticker on. Nice. And I'll do the same for the other side and then the wires. Right, to remove the ignition coils, 10 mil spanner. That's one that screw. The second screw. Make sure you mark them, because you can do some. Well, what damage? What more damage can I do to this engine when shit has bursted in it? Well, anyway, you know what I mean. Where possible, put the nuts back on. Put the screws back on. You'll thank me and yourself later. Take some time and like clean these things thoroughly. Since we're, since we're doing this, might as well. My plan was always to get this bike looking like new. So since I'm taking the engine off, why not? Remove all these cable ties and. This one was here. Cable ties and cable strappers, straps, whatever. Put them to the side. These things seem to be the same size. There were two here. There's a couple more here. One, one, one. And another here. Actually, check this out. See this thing here reusable cable ties in 1983 Japanese people man uh, I think that was my mentality when I didn't open up this engine I was like mm, Japanese people do nice things you know but <clears throat> they didn't expect this bike to sit for fucking 30 years and then some crazy guy to start running it just like that you know this giant wire goes to the instrument panel now I know oh, so that was the rattling man you learn something every day so I don't know what this is it's kind of strapped to the um, to the frame. Take it out. It was in there. I wonder what this thing is. It's got four four wires going in it. What is this thing? Covered in rubber, all of it. That's the wire going to the headlights and the signal lights. Alright. And it goes all the way in here. So that 
that's gotta be the lights on, engine run, start the motor thing. I'm going to label it white plug plus blue stripe and yellow. This wire here goes into this white plug. It's got a two orange, one white, one gray, and one like ground looking wire. And then <coughs> one yellow that goes to another yellow. And one blue with stripes that goes to blue with stripes. And this is what I made for the iPhone charger. Alright, so I'm gonna mark these. So that's number one. That's number two. I'll mark it in more places in case one rubs off. Okay. This will be number three. Three. Okay. So, number one. Number one, this plug number one. These two loose wires connect to these two loose wires from plug number two, this one here. And this plug number two goes into number two blue here. I am going to write on these also. So, one, two, and then on this one, one, two. I'll do the same with these ones. No, they go together to here and to here. All right. Now separating these is a bit of a pain. Not impossible though. Did it before. One. Black on black. You still can see it. I'll write it in all the sides, one here, and one here, that's got one all over the place there, make sure it doesn't come off, which it doesn't, from here, okay, cool, my luck is my label cassette just run out, so I need to get more, prime delivery doesn't exist in times like these so it's gonna be here two days after today and that's quite useless for me so I'm just gonna print I still have a heat shrink thingy so I'll just print on heat shrink and cable tie the heat shrink labels to these as I said before I'll take my time to clean these wires make them all nice this one comes from the left side of the controls so from the lights and signaling controls take a little cloth wipe it down what's up pigeon? <laughs> this one so at least I know number one and number two they're the lights so. magic marker one, two, three, on this one, and one, two, three, on the other one. Now let's remove this plug. Okay. Right three on this one. Here, straight here, and three here. This wire goes somewhere down in the engine. My guess is how many wires? One, two, three, four, five, six. My guess is this is the sensor for the gear selector so number three is the gear selector sensor 
this is wire number three. Oh, interesting thing. The loose blue wire that came with the third connector here goes somewhere else in this big bunch of wires. It goes in this big bunch here. In this bunch here. This bunch has two more wires that are connected, but it seems to be that they're in the same bunch. And then one more loose wire, which is probably the wire to the thermostat. Alright, to make stuff even less confusing, I just labeled blue and blue on this heat shrink. So now just put this heat shrink one here and one on the other side so I know come on you blasted thing what the fuck alright I'll get my heat gun and label this stuff up let's see what else we got here there's a tiny wire this is the brake wire brake wire, the front brake sensor that goes to number one. We're gonna print some labels saying brake sensor front. These three yellows they go down to here. Whatever is here, we're gonna find out by taking this thing off. Let's see what hides in here. My guess is it's, it's the starter motor. But why does it have three wires? I don't know. It might be ah, one for the coil, like for the clutch coil or whatever it's called. We shall see. This journey into real mechanics is gonna make me really confident to opening any other engine even a car engine because they're all practically the same with stuff on top extra sensors, extra this, that <laughs> it rings in my head that stupid commercial if you can fix a car no, if you can fix a bike you can fix a car if you can fix a car, you can fix a Vladan bomber, whatever, work for the United States Army or British Navy or some shit. They're all the same. Hey, hey, I was right. This is the starter motor. Okay. And this goes in front of it. To God knows what's in there, and guess what? We're gonna find out. Including these annoying ones. Okay. Last one never comes out. The last, the last screw never comes out. The last nut never comes out. That's the solution for it. There it goes. Freed up this wire. This was not connected to anything. Let's see if I can get myself in the shot. Yeah, so this black wire here, black with white stripes, was connected to nothing. The rest of the wires, they go into this big, big connector here. There's a clip around them. One clip, the second clip. 
Okay. There's a chunky wire that goes to this relay. This red wire. And then two wires that go to whatever this is. Oh, this powers this thing. It's probably another relay that powers, yeah, straight from the battery. That powers uh, the starter motor. My guess is these two small wires, they should detect if the engine is running so they don't engage the starter motor. Uh, but they don't. So, because uh, I know. Alright, these other two wires here, this funny looking plug is for the signal relay. So I'm just gonna write on it. I'll just write signal. two places just write sig rel signal relay check that it doesn't come off it doesn't take the signal relay out Correction, struggle to take the signal relay out. Yeah, there it is. Okay, now to take out all of this stuff. Okay. And another screw here. Alright, so in order to take the first bolt out, you need to take out this adjustable preload and now I know what size keys I need to have in case it hits the fan 10 mil is the winner until now so screw number one Same thing, I'll put them back so I don't lose them. Screw on two. There's two wires. This is one. This is the other one. This is the wire that goes straight to the starter motor. And this other wire goes somewhere down. I'll have to see which, where. Right, so for these two wires, the igniter, no, the starter motor and this unknown one, you've got these clips here. Take the clips away. Right, now, these plugs, this plug here, are right on this, one and two again. Number one, man, number two. I wanted to feel fabulous. On this igniter, TR igniter, it says. So I have this big plug with six pins and this small plug with four pins. And the giant wire for the starter motor. All right, and on the other side is this heat sink looking thingy. This one has a big plug, flat one, 
one red wire, three yellow, and one black. I wonder what this is. Uh, I'm gonna take this out and come back. You can't put it the wrong way around because it's got this spacer here. Alright, so that's why that wire is gone. This is disconnected. There's another red wire that goes in this plug. And that in turn goes to the plus wire. How does that work? Alright. And then these two are here in this part. In this uh, starter motor relay, I think. Oh yeah, these are, this is the power for the starter motor. Okay, starter motor relay. So, black one and yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna write on this so I know. Write on this thing. Alright, so this thing here is the main fuse, 20 amps. It's got a normal fuse like the old school ones the spare is gone so I'm gonna have to put one in okay look at this connector it's melted man okay now I need to figure out how to release this wire Seems to go in here. Yeah. So maybe I can take it off here. See, that's the connector that goes straight from the battery. This is the connector that goes to the motor. Again, 10 mil socket. I'll label this SM from starter motor. Yes. And, and the other one B from battery. B SM. Black, yellow. <coughs> this thing off so it's easier for me to work okay take this down take the rubber out again 10 mil spanner or ratchet does the trick left it's this one that goes to the, the rear brake sensor and this one that goes to the backlight connections I'll have to label them and take them out again this one here you just take it out like that it's easy I like these reusable clips. Nice. Japan 1983. Doing some serious science. Now I will label these, but just for reference, black is minus. Black with stripe is plus. This is for the signal left. Yeah, as you look at it like that. So signal left. 
and signal right green is plus red and black with stripe is minus so I'll have to label these and this is for the it's one connector you know for the backlight tail light all right that's nice and labeled saying all right all right get over it that's nice and labeled now this pipe here this hose is the hose that goes from the tank from the from here that's the level sensor from there it goes to the back of the bike these don't matter it doesn't matter which wire is which next up the ground wire that you can unplug from the rest of the loom from here that's the ground wire and I think that's we're done with the wires except these three mystery yellow wires that I'm gonna label yellow one two three and then I'll go ahead and take this off take this off take this off take this off or take the whole engine off yeah I think so but first I need to remove the clutch wire somehow yeah and then take the engine off and assess the damage I'm putting it off man because I know it's gonna be bad so I'm just taking my time even from here look at this stuff's coming out this kind of stuff something bad happened man okay so from this one the wire that goes to the signal relay to the igniter thing and to the battery from, so from the plus wire there's another wire that connects to something that goes deep down in the engine so the wire color is it's in this thing this was hanging down here so the blue and one white stripe goes to the blue and one white stripe I'll have to label this also. I think I'll put four here and four here so I know important to add there's two more wires here that weren't connected to anything one has a spider web inside and the other one so the green and the black with stripes connected to nothing uh, yeah I've labeled this blue white and four lines that matches with this one blue white and four lines this one is a wire that goes down somewhere in the back of the engine not sure yet what's the purpose of this one. The mystery wires have been labeled. I'm not sure if it that's yellow two, yellow three, yellow one. I've got only one label here, yellow three, two is two lines, one is one line, and I wrote on this rubber piece, I don't know if you can see it, yellow one, two, three. Right, so now these wires can go off, this main wire loom can go off, I'll feed it back through here, ah, there's one more wire, that goes again, here, I wonder what that is, I'll most definitely find out, probably it's a water thermostat, or like a I don't know. I'll find out soon enough when I take apart this engine. So this has a specific plug, thank God, that only goes in this. So I'll write on both of them a number. 
I label this FE from front engine on the plug the same FE I'll write on this one also FE okay so what's left of this main loom now is one big plug that goes to the instrument panel and the other plug that goes to the to the key barrel so I'm gonna disconnect these I don't have to label these because I know where they are because they're a specific shape so I can't do this with one hand so I'll do this with two hands and then this is free I'll take a it's gonna get a little washing because it looks it looks like it's seen better days once those two are off I'll take it out here and take it out from me. Oh, silly me. There's another wire that goes from here. On the other side, that's the wire. And this is the wire responsible for the headlight. Okay. And the horn signaling. No, that's the daylight running, day running lights and signal and signal I'm curious if it's the same yeah it was the same black white stripe on this side let's have a look signal right black signal right yeah so sides aha uh -huh. I don't have to label these because they're the same colors as the back one that's here and this is here I only have to label these so I know that this black with white stripe is the red actually I've lost the stupid marker can't label anymore but this brown wire and I've got a feeling black with one stripe is minus yeah because black with one stripe is here also this is for the day running lights brown black with one stripe this is the headlight this is for the horn so as you see the horn like that green and orange There's a clip here, and that should be the end of this main loom. This should come out right now. There's the main loom. Hey, this is the main loom. I'll give it a clean and put it aside I'm big there's the wire loom a bit cleaner um, I think I think this concludes today I'll make this an episode it will be pro pretty much a long one but the best is yet to come. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Still didn't open this. I don't think I'll open it on the bike. I think I'll take it off because it looks like this and it needs a paint job anyway. So yeah, that's what I'll do. Catch me in the next episode.